Hi everybody, I'm Hui and in this video we're going to dive into button components and header bars in the realm of the Dataminer low-code apps toolset. Let's get into it. Low-code apps let you build applications tailored to specific audiences with little to no coding experience while leveraging your own data lake. They are integrated with powerful data miner automation capabilities and are accessible from anywhere. We will start off by looking at how to use button components and the things you can do with them. This is just a data miner app I created beforehand just for testing and demo purposes. This page shows some information extracted from your digital twin, but I will create a new empty page and call it buttons. So we can go ahead and play around with them. Let's open the component bar on the left and drag a button into the canvas. In fact, let's create a few more to cover additional examples. If we navigate to the component settings under the general section, you will find an empty on-click action. This allows you to choose which action will take place when you click that button. There's a bunch of them. Let's start with the simpler ones. If you have multiple pages inside your app, you can use the button to immediately navigate to a different page. I have an overview page, so let's set that one. Notice you can chain additional actions to run right after the current action completes. This is useful if you want to do things like creating a DOM instance and then updating a table to make sure it displays the newly created instance. Anyways, if I leave the edit mode and click the button, I indeed end up going back to the overview page. Let's try another. I can set it to navigate to a specific URL, like your internal portal, manufacturer web page, or a shared document online. Doesn't even need to be strictly HTTP. With the Cube URL support, you can even launch the Cube app with a particular card open using URL parameters. But for now, I'll just launch Cube at the home of the Zine demo system. If I leave the edit mode and click the button, you can see it will launch the Cube app and log into the Zine demo system. You can open and close panels too. I already created one that says hello in the overview page. So let's go on over to the button settings and add an action that opens that panel. In a pop-up, 30% width sounds good. When I leave edit mode and click the button, we can see the panel opens as intended. You can close panels this exact same way too. Let's continue. Next up we have execute component action. These are actions specific to other components you already added. So I'll quickly add a pie chart component to exemplify. Now we can go back to button settings and add an execute component action that fetches data from the data miner system and updates the pie chart. When I exit the edit mode and click the button, you can see the pie chart component refreshes. Let's go and configure that last button. The low-code apps toolset integration with Data Miner Automation Engine goes beyond simply launching a script, but I will cover that in depth in another video. For now, we'll just launch a script by pressing the button. I created this script beforehand. It compiles a PDF alarm report using an existing dashboard and uploads it to a network share. When I exit edit mode and click the button and wait for the script to complete, we'll be able to find the report at the designated network share. Finally, I'd like to quickly point out that you can add header bars containing buttons to each of your pages. To do that, just toggle the header bar on 
while editing your page and it will pop up from the top. You'll notice two plus buttons on the left and on the right. This allows you to add buttons on each side. You can attach actions to these buttons by expanding the events menu under the header bar settings and configure an action the exact same way we did before. And that's all there is for button components and header bars. Pretty simple and easy to use. For more information about this or anything and everything ICT, media and broadband, visit our Open Dojo community and register for free. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.